Yes. You're making your Sesame Street place, Matt. Let me watch. Of course. Let's push this in here. And see, look, it's two-sided. That's gonna be the four edges. See, this is we got one, two, three, and here's four. So let's go. A placement. Yeah. So you're gonna have four of them. You're gonna have Sesame Street. You're gonna have Jack. You're gonna have Moana, and you're gonna have the pretty flower one. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Placement. Placement. Okay. Here we go. Oh, all your favorite characters you can eat with now. Oh, it's so exciting! So let's bring this all the way out over here, maybe to about here. That's going to be about one hand's length right there to my pinky from here, so I know how to measure. Let's do this. Come a few stitches further. There we go. <laughs> Oh, here's something I missed. We'll get that in a minute. Okay. It looks a placement. I know, it's turning out fabulous, isn't it? We use our pinking shears. What do you think, Lana? Come here, smiled in front of the camera. Looks nice, huh? So what we're gonna have to do is wash it. Turned out really nice though. Isn't it cute? Cute. Do you wanna use this today? Mm -hmm. Or do you wanna get a wash first? Wash first. Okay. The finished product. Look at this. These have, uh, this has gone through the wash. Here, let's do a quick review. These are the ones that I made for Lana for her birthday, which was in December. So these were done a few months ago. She uses them all the time. Jack's her favorite though. So when I made these, just as a review, this is just regular cotton fabric and a cotton towel in here, not microfiber. And so the cotton towel is just sandwiched and they're two-sided, all of them are. So I did no rough edging on them. I just left it open and I did tight stitching on it and I used pinking shears. I didn't want to mess with stuff. I get a little bit of fraying, but I am totally cool with snipping with some scissors once in a while. This is the one I did yesterday. I bought a four pack of towels. And so these are the ones I did before Christmas. I had two towels left over. So I had this fabric left over from a chair that I had upholstered that has now been donated. Uh, so I made a placemat out of, out of that one. I think that one is beautiful. I love those colors. And this is the one you saw me working on earlier that Lana actually watched the whole time. I'm so, oh, that just warmed my heart. Anyway, but this is her Sesame Street one. Lana had a Sesame Street blanket made by my mom for her yeah, when she was probably four or five years old. And it was on a white fabric and it had the whole gang on it and the pattern was similar to this. The, the quilt, you know, it was hand stitched and everything. It got really worn out throughout the years because it was a favorite loved one. So I found a similar fabric and I just sewed it on top of the other one and did a similar stitch pattern on it. Well, that was like last year and she wanted to have another Sesame Street blanket. And I'm like, all right, whatever, we'll get you some fabric. I didn't know what she had in mind. But when she saw me making a placemat yesterday with the flowers, she immediately wanted her fabric to be a placemat. So this is the one she wants to use today. So let's get these out of here. We'll go fold those up, put those back in the kitchen for future use. And I'm just going to leave this one here. Oh, I'm going to have to get the scissors. I'll do that in a minute, though. But yep, this is for Lana. This is what she's using today. One of my projects, guys.
I like the deepest. Is this an ocean picture? Deepest. Is the deepest part of the ocean? Yeah. The deepest part of the ocean is always the darkest blue. Darkest. Yep. Right, thank you, Lana, for letting me film your paint. See you later. Bye. <laughs> it's going to be an ocean picture. What are you going to paint in your picture? Whales and fishes. Whales and fishes. There we go. Yeah. Have fun, sweetie. So I wanted to show you where I where I am um, blah, 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 where I am with my crocheting project here. Um, so this is it's I think it's turning out beautiful. Um, I may I come out at lunch. I work at home and I'll do a row or two every day, and it's been lovely. It, you really see the progress when you're making steady when you're doing steady work on it. But so this is um, this is the size we're at right now, and uh, my concern is whether this is going to be enough to get me to the size of blanket or if it's just going to look like a smaller, you know, baby blanket, which would be fine, but I'm not crocheting for a baby. I'm crocheting for me. So anyway, I, I double yarned this, as you can see, I've got them, you know, whatever, you know, whatever. <laughs> I don't know what the technical term is for that. I'm using two strands. And so when, what that means is now I've reduced the amount of yarn in half for the size of the project I was looking to do. Um, I'm glad I did this because I like it being thicker. But when I went to Walmart to get two more, they had none. And it could have been another color, but the problem was is they didn't even have two rolls of matching in a different color. Because this the ombre wouldn't have to stay in these. It could go to different ombre colors. So anyway, I have a Joanne visit coming up, I guess, now, and as soon as the snow and the weather is all gone and the freezing temps, I'll go to Joanne's and see what they have. I saved the label so I can get the same brand, but I'm not worried about a match at this point. I just want, you know, two more rolls so it's a nice size lap, maybe a full size. We'll see. I don't know. Anyway, but I'm going to work on it some more. stopped everything I was doing to grab the camera and do this. And why? Because there were two dogs playing in the snow, but they're playing in some other part of the snow and not the part that's in front of me anymore. Disappointed. Something else I'm disappointed with is this exercise bike and the fact that I haven't been riding it. And I have no excuse except my own for not getting on it. So I've eaten all of the Christmas candy and all the snacks and goodies are out of the kitchen now. And so I'm going to have to do it, guys. I'm going to have to be firm with myself. Here we go. Wish me luck. <laughs> 